one year later in many patches, Cyberpunk 2077 Patch 1.5 is finally here, and with it brings many performance upgrades, new features, and more important, the long-awaited next update. Did Patch 1.5 make things better? Let's find out. For those wondering, Cyberpunk 2077 is once again visible on the PS5 store following its removal last year. But it cannot be bought. The CD Projekt Red title appears when you search for it on the PS5 store under the Just Announced tag. Players can wishlist the game or re-download the digital version if they have already purchased it. With that out of the way, let's talk about how the game has been reworked, specifically for next-gen consoles. The improvements here are noticeable and very welcomed. Returning players will notice right away that Night City has undergone a huge makeover following its first lifeless presentation. Crowds and traffic have become more reactive and will adjust to the player's aggressive behavior. Wilson's now sells new weaponry and attachments, as well as significant changes to driving mechanics. How does it feel behind the wheel? CD Projekt has stated that most cars should be more enjoyable to drive, and more distinct from one another. Better braking, handling, cornering, and burnout capability. In terms of the fundamental changes that the players were hoping for, Cyberpunk 2077 falls short. There is currently no actual policing system in place, and the process of completing gigs and jobs for Night City's numerous gangs is still mostly a static to-do list. Faction rewards have been added, however they don't seem to have much of an impact on how Night City functions. There are a limited number of things to see and do, and there isn't much that seems emergent. To put it another way, you can wreak havoc on anybody and everything, run a block or two, and yet be in a good standing with cops and gangs. A general fix is now that they have a mission counter to show how many gigs you've done for them. When you've done all gigs, they each now have a special reward for you. Now with more cash, rewards, cheaper cars, guns for sale, Call its launch day stability and performance on consoles terrible is something of an understatement. Overall, Cyberpunk 2077 is by no means perfect, and is not an experience where you could see and feel the brilliance of every new thing. From room layout to character animations, and reactions and movie sequences, the game in its current state is far closer to the studio's original vision and what was advertised to players. It remains to be seen if Cyberpunk is on the path to living up to its potential, and if it can win over the fanbase.